what's up guys so today we're gonna work on um, building our creativity while we're, we train alone um, for example there's a lot of times for example me I have no one else to train with just training here on my own um, and I, I think to myself how can I build being creative how can what can I do to be creative during my training session so today we're gonna work on that um, yeah so it's gonna be a pretty good one today Hope you guys stay tuned and watch the full video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, uh, and always appreciate everybody watching. All right, just gonna get a quick warm up in. Based off if like I'm in a game game situation, just being creative on my own, using every part of my foot when I'm dribbling, I'm gonna kick it up in the air, control it, and keep playing. Act like I'm in game situations, thinking always, and then at the end finish with the goal, get another ball game. So again, this is something that I do for myself. That I feel like it's something that while I'm training alone, I can still work on being creative. Like if I'm in a game situation, or like if I'm in a team. Yeah, I do recommend giving it a try, uh, and let me, let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, that concludes our session for today. Obviously a session like this you won't do in an actual game situation where you're dribbling and doing so many skills and going this way and this way. Eventually, if I was in the game, I would lose the ball. You would have to pass sooner, but this is just an idea so you can get more confident, get more comfortable on the ball, um, and just build creativity on your own while you have no defenders on you. Something I recommend doing, something I do myself. I feel like it helps me a lot. And I'm pretty sure it can help you out as well to add into your trainings already if you're, if you're training alone just like this, right? So 
Okay, and that concludes our session for today. I appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you on the next video. See you.